Hey YouTube, we're just going to do a quick um, rundown and overview of the Ace card. Essentially the same through RPG, um, Ace card 2 and Ace card 2i. And we're just going to, sh yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do this, but I don't have the box or anything, so don't whine, don't complain, please. And here we go, okay? First, you want to go to acecard.com, and here they'll have a whole bunch of like random crap. BS. Um, so well, to continue, um, our newest firmware is 4.18, so just download that, and we'll just head over to here, and here's how it looks like so far, my file, so just going to do a simple drag and drop, but if you have OS up, then it'll automatically do it for you, so we'll just grab those two and we'll just drag them in here so you want to move and replace and you know what screw that delete that Well, that's taking an awfully long time just for like 11 okay fine 13 <sighs> okay it's gonna be like around 14 G's I mean 14 megas so so just drag that in there just dragging on the folder because you saw I replaced the AK menu there, so it's all good. Just wait for this thing, it takes forever. I mean, as soon as you've done this, it's all good, and you could just start using it. So, right now, I'll just talk about the card. The card has a protruding chip there, but you I don't even have an H card to compare it to, but still, it's pretty solidly built compared to like the first one of the, one of the um, first versions of Ace cards, which had like the clips. This one's just actually glued on this time, so yeah. And you see, obviously, I used it a lot. That's why it's so scratched up. So yeah, let's give this thing a rip. Apparently my my spring slot micro SD doesn't doesn't work quite as well as it used to. It used to be like awesome. That's all I can say. But it used to be awesome, but now it just sucks. So just see if this works. Oh, we'll try it on DSi later. Just just show you guys how um. The firmware actually breaks it it won't allow access to it so you have DSI don't upgrade to 1.4 until they got the fix and that I will test out and let you guys know so we'll just go into micro SD and then I'll have our thing here so we'll just try to run a homebrew homebrew will hopefully like Yep, it works. Soft reset doesn't work that well, so yeah. I actually like the reset soft reset on Edge because um, it'll actually soft reset from at least half, at least half the home brews. Well, that's why I tested it with. So let's try some commercial card games. And let's see if that will work. Oh yeah, I remember I have Moonshell 2 on this, so I want 
to give that a run but I probably don't have any media files on here so it's gonna be kinda useless here's this boot up Mario Kart very nice works software sets to work now I can probably see why software set didn't work. I probably didn't turn it on or something. Smart. And this one it goes back to its previous state, kinda. So that's why. It has the blue flashing light there with the micro SD, so I'm just gonna quit out there. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go check Wi Fi in a bit, but just want to see if I could get Moonshell running. Ah, Moonshell. What a pain the ass you are. Yep, and it. Thing is, they didn't detect the rumble pack that well. Oh crap. Sure, probably went to language, uh, that language part before I did that. Okay, now it doesn't even work. Great. I just totally put myself in a hole. Okay, it happened again, so you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. Just watch my Easy Flash one, you'll get the gist of it. I didn't test the moonshell to make sure it worked, but it just requires a little magic and it should work. And I don't know what happened, right? But it detected an M3 extension pack, just rewind it just to check it out later. And I obviously it doesn't say M3 here kind of see easy flash so I don't know what happened there I think I have to get moonshell working because I want moonshell even though you know what I probably shouldn't even have moonshell on this one yeah whatever so that essentially concludes my video of this and I hope you guys figure everything out and Consider the ace card one. Oh yeah, shit. I didn't try this one. Oh my goodness, I... There we go, DSI. Nice. So we're just going to head over to the ace card. Looks legitimate. Error has occurred. Press the power button. Turn off. So, you know, that's great for me. Because, you know, I totally didn't need that. See, and it'll probably say that I have version 1.4 here. Yep, there we go, 1.4. So that sucks for me. And yeah, essentially 1.4. Don't upgrade to it if you want to use an ace card. Could at least wait until the fix, but I was all like, hey, Facebook. Awesome. Now I've uploaded pictures to Facebook too, so it's all good. And we're just going to let some time run out. So I'm just probably just going to go to the DSi shop. Just for kicks.